Zaburi, Psalm 119 and verse number 18. So that we get this afternoon to think a little bit about the word of God and the worship of God. Actually, we worship because of the word. And when we read the word, it opens our heart to worship God. So we cannot separate the word of God and the worship of God. Um, Psalm 119 is a very long uh, passage. It has so many verses. Actually, they say it should be the longest in terms of verses. But they are, the only thing it's saying is that know the word of God to be able to worship God. When you worship the Lord, you should worship because you know the word of God. Can we play with those words? We worship because we know the word. Can somebody tell a friend? We worship because we know the word. Let's come again. It's just English. We worship because we know the word. Okay, let's make it simple. We worship, worship because of the word. And we read the word to worship God. Let me give a simple example. What kind of a person can cite you when you are talking? But then you want to cite me, really? Uchangamuka. So Uchangamuka. Uchangamuka. But I'm not going to take Uchangamuka and Uchangamuka. Wonderful things in your love. 
you get what is being said there? Do you think this is a prayer or this is a command or this is a request? Ground for goodness to be 
given to your life. Can somebody say amen? Hiyo ndio sababu mtu wa sira apate marafiki wengi. You can't to pay a sira you pay. Unakopata so the ground is not fit for you to be able to change up kiane. Bado mna pambana. Ana example of a girlfriend and a boyfriend who ni kosa na sio kukutana baada ya kwanza kurupa. Mnaanza na kusolve problem ya jana. Na wewe pia baje. Unanisinya sana. I hate you. In fact I'm going back home. Na ni msi eno sisi tanzania. Ako bebeleza mpaka roho ifanye nini? Ndio tujie ndio za by the way na mchezo ya gari. Unaona hiyo mke yeye imekuja sasa. Sasa yeye anapenda hata unisalamie tena. Sio. Baya salamu ya vijana si salamu. Sasa anza na mkono hapa alafu unatoka hapa na nguvu hapa mpaka ikuki mike pande hii. Si wapoe kufanyia rusi hapa kufanyia daya. Mpaka tukwambie can you now kiss the bride? Na ukiz mbele ya wazazi sio. Hii ya kuiba iba inasuia uoshe. Nimeongea hapo nani? Yaani when we come to God in an afternoon of worship Let us see what is wonderful in the word of God. Can somebody tell me anything wonderful in the word of God? You can say, Masiyo, you can't say anything. 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 You can't Akiwe ni mtu mkubwa sasa ukikosewa bado unakaa kama mtu hii wacha nikwambie hiyo maneno haisaini come back to yourself when you 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 need an assignment it was not good you take responsibility for your own your own side yeye yeah, anachukua responsibility ya pale ya pale yake so come and tell God, God I am sorry for what I did yesterday ni nenda town jioni ni nenda tu ni kuna gobe i know that it's affecting my relationship with you I did this bad thing. You just tell yourself to God before you start blaming other people. Am I talking to someone? But as long as you still feel it is difficult, your eyes will remain close to the wonderful things in the Word of God. And somebody say Amen. Mm-hmm. Worship doesn't just come; it comes because our hearts are warmed up with the words of God. Our hearts are given good words. I will bless you. I will forgive you. If you know your sins are as red as crimson, I will do what? I will be able to forgive. If you know you have no way, I will make a way. Like the verse we read today in church, what does it say? Moses, you are asking me to go with someone. I'm not sending you someone to go with you. Mimi mwenyewe, nime kitolea, nitaenda na we. It's like you're asking your parent or your, your colleague, well, please give me someone and it's in the kise. Buda mwenyewe anakwambia mimi mwenyewe naenda na wewe. Unajisikiaje akienda na wewe? Of course at this age si poa sana. Lakini kwa ile age ya watoto, Buda akisema naenda na wewe unasikiaje? Ah, kila kitu hata na tusi mtoto ya jirani. Tesa. Leo niko na tesa. Eh. Yeah. Ukiona na kuelewa unaangalia dai unaona hiyo? Eh. Sababu unajua uko na kinga, ama ndio ndio sawa? Yes. Lakini hii age yenu Ah, Buda kusema na kusindikiza amekuaribia vitu hapo. Amechoka picha kama anachoka nini. Ah, we. Ah, utajifanya hapo. Ili kwa sisi sahii wacha wewe unachukuliko. Eh, tunashughulikia na tunashughulikia na baadaye. Yaani, I want to tell you something. When we go before God, let's see God as someone who can open our eyes to see the wonderful things. I love the word of God because Number one, it gives me peace in my heart to know God's way. I love the word of God because the Bible, it makes things to be able to work for me. And it tells me what is not possible, God will make it possible. You know that's the heart of worship. When you feel like God, I want to see you. I want to hear you. That's why I love one of the songs. I don't know who sang the song. She gives me Maranatha Amani, women of praise or whoever. And I said, no, open the eyes of my heart that I may do what? Before your eyes are open, everybody else is an enemy. Me come and tell you, my wife, I went to a church. I had two youths in a church, one of the churches I pastored, and me came to me come and tell me come and stand. Me know I'm gonna tell me how we. When you come and tell me, I say, "What a story, cat, cat, yeah." You just make you up. What's going on here? 
Unajua dofu yako ya chachi. Kwanza mwenye unafanya una, una simama yako mbele. Unajua ukitembea pindi unaenda watu wanaonanga tu pasta au gooni. Unasema ni pasta, ah ni wa pasta. Alafu kuna kwa area. Ukimmoja mmoja mtu kwa kona. Sikia mbona hiyo hiyo game sana mimi sieleni. Sasa sasa kesho anakuona chachi. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Na mwenye kwa na mwenye ndiye anafanya event. Amen. So mimi na bana kama tunaenda na uliza tu munisaidie kama iko very in between muniambia na I can always answer questions when people ask me. By the way you need to buy a money so. Eh, lakini wale sio serious hawataki ijulikane. Kama uko na mtu kama huyo tema yeye leo katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Wewe pastor akiuliza mko na kitu anasema na kuna kitu hakuna. Hata kutembea pamoja hivyo siko kitu. Wale wawili wanaweza kaje pamoja wasipoelewana. Sibai kwa nasema hivi. Eh. So tuli kwa ile story. Nikambia hawa yote. Iko kitu. Ndio ndio akasimama na kuniambia. Pastor hata ukiangalia mimi. Na huwa kaji kuni. Mbona jua kuna mna. Mbona jua ku kuskana. Hivi kuskana. Ndio kuna kusimama. Rebo acha nikwambie. Huyu akinia Menda itakuwa nengi ya wakitikia. Ayo wese kani. Little did they know, a few years later, si vijana wanakuja na wanaenda. A few years later na wapata tao. Wanafuatana. Like those people ask Jesus in uh, 
uh, the book of Luke 24. Are you guys the only stranger in Jerusalem? You don't know the things that have happened in this, over these few days. You know about those two disciples on the road to a mouse? When Jesus came around and had them talking and asked them, what is it you are talking about? Then this, those guys told Jesus, when you get a piece of paper, you need to make a belly and you have a belly. Do you see another definition of a stranger? No, go back to the one. I am a stranger on earth. Now, if you are a stranger on earth, what would it mean? You don't, have, you don't know the connections you need. You don't know where you are going. You don't know the things that are happening around your world. So what does it tell us? God, if I'm a stranger, do not hide your commands from me. Reason, the commands should be able to help me not to feel like a stranger. I don't know my way. I want God to open me, open my eyes, that I may know your way. And how? Through your commands. The commands actually is the word of who? The word of God that is being spoken here. Now, if you don't have direction in life, the word of God will give you what? Direction. And if you give you direction, you will begin to appreciate the giver of the direction. That is why we say we are living in a world today where people love the blessings more than the blesser. What you want baraka, lakini wataki mungu mwenye, mungu mwenye baraka. Give me this, Lord, give me this, but they have no connection with the giver of the blessing. So they remain strangers on earth because they don't know the ways of God. When we come to worship, we open up our hearts to tell God, Lord, we don't want to be strangers in this world. As we worship you, open our hearts to see the world in a different picture. What plans do you have for my life? What plans do you have for my education? What plans do you have for my future husband or wife? What plans do you have for my career? What plans do you have for me in the next few days that are before me? I may be going to a place where my life is going to end. But do not hide your commands so that I don't become a stranger. I know how to make life out of what is happening. This is why we say the word of God inspires our worship. So that when you know the one, the more you know the one, the more your heart comes out. Let me come back to that example of those who are ready to get married. The first day we met or we meet, we don't say much. Uh-huh. The next day? Did I meet you yesterday? Yeah. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, God bless you. Man, that's it. The next day? It's you again. Did you? You know what man? Why don't I show the apple? Am I making sense to someone? I love you. You begin to oh, you know, you see the Okay. I said the sun and now I can meet me. Are you ready to show me? Okay. See you. The next day, ah, to look at it again. When I'm not going to show you, see you again. You know, you see the apple. You see the apple. See you again, bro. When you rise in the air, you know. When I was born, I was now my uncle or whoever, my brother. Now wait, wait. So you see the change? You are not beginning me, you, me, you. The next day it will be us, and the next us it will be the two shall become one. How do you end up there? Will you find out here? The words, as the words come, as the words become more gracious. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming. I can do what I tell you, sir, and it's you okay. You know that's worship already. Because your heart is being poured out to ask that person. You begin now telling your relatives, I met someone who's so nice to me. Why are you doing that business? I can do what I tell you, sir. I can do what I tell you, sir. I can do what I tell you, sir. Already you are declaring the goodness of that person. And soon you will desire, if they are good, sing in respect to my time with what is good. Now, this is the secret of reading the word of who? The word of God. If you read the word of God today, you have a good heart to read it tomorrow. The word of God opens more and more of who God is. And you will begin to say, God, I need more of you. I need to be closer to you. I need to stay with you. I need to walk with you. And 
Psalm 127 will tell us Psalm 27. One thing I desire is to stay in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. That is how that desire comes. And so you can grow it as you use the words of God. And this is why we are coming to worship. When we hear what God says, more of our hearts are open to know who He is, what He can do, what power I can worship Him, and the many other things He will do for me. That is why this person is crying. I am a stranger on hand. Do not hide your words from me. And we are all strangers in this world. We need God's help. We need God's direction. We need God's leadership. Give us the last word, please. Uh, Psalm 119 and verse number 36. Turn my heart towards your statutes and not towards selfish gain. Now, we hear those words. Towards your statutes. Now, another description of the word of God. And not towards selfish gain. If you are talking to someone and buy an anitakia, how comfortable would you be with such a person? This is why this prayer is very important in worship. You know when you come to worship, CCIC, we are not selfish when we come to worship. It's not me, 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 me. It is me and God and others. So that when I pray, I will make the prayer. Forgive me my trespasses, as I also forgive those who trespass. Yes, me. So that I don't come before God like the Pharisee or the tax collector. I am righteous. I say in the choir. I come to the Tuesday prayer meeting. I go for cashers. Oh God, why are you not doing this to me? I want it because I am not so faithful to you. That is not how God works. That is what we call selfish. When you come to a place of worship, when you come to worship God, remove your selfishness. I know I sinned against you. Jana ni lepita barabara. Kwa nusu jana, mimi ni kiyo mwanaume, amepa kuwa mbae, ime muacha, mungu royanzo. Ime yenda ni kawana hiyo. Nika sema, I wish. You don't say it with your mouth, you say it from your, from your hand. Mungu anasikia, and it distracted me. Amba wene mwesikiana wakawana, mtu tajiri. Ana pita nakari, kwa sema, oh, that was my husband. I call it a selfish word. Selfish game. Look for what can promote the kingdom of God and what can give you what God has prepared for you. Can somebody say amen? God give me that chance. I want to pray. Selfish. God will give you what is yours and it shall be yours. Can somebody say amen? When you be able to write back and pray? It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. And who can say all those words? You cannot know what God gives as permanent if you do not know the word of God. Can somebody say amen? Let's soak ourselves in the word of God. The word will help us to do what? Worship God. Do you know even in church, we always know it as pastors. Praise and worship should come after the preaching of the word of God. Did you know that? That is But in actual sense, after you hear the word, Pastor Skiro Yako in Abubutika, Unataka Kwabia Mumukitu. That is the time when we should begin to do what? We worship God. God, I've heard your word. Your word has spoken to me. I want to pour myself into your word. You will see what can happen in such a situation. It is my prayer that as we gather here this afternoon, God turn our hearts towards your statutes and not to selfish gain. I think you had a... Uh, let me give this last question given by um, the retired bishop, the meditators, Silas Yebo. Siku moja, tuki dedicate bus ya AIC Fellowship Town. I used to be a pastor in that church in those times. When we were dedicating the bus, Bishop Yebo alikuja. And I said, makuna maita kimeni mimi niko nae. But I want to explain this. Kuna mwaka moja, amao, alikuwa 
anaona rafiki yake akipata kitu ambao yeye mwenyewe ametamani. Huyu alituzwa akapewa kitu mzuri, akapewa speech aseme, yeye pia alikuwa anataka hiyo lakini hakupata. So alipopewa speech kutoa kwa sababu ni rafiki ya mwenyewe amepata, akasukumuza na akasema ile wapendwa. Si rahisi kupoteza chenye ulikuwa unataka. Lakini ninataka kushukuru kwa rafiki yangu kwanza pongezi. Akaenda akafanya nini? Akamsalamia. Huyu ni mwanaume tu na kama mwanaume tu. Eh, akasalamia kwa mfano hii. Alafu aliposalamia akasema nafurahia hii sababu amepata. Sababu gani ninafurahi? Ni kwamba kama amepata the next person ni nani? Ni nini? Because the two of them were the ones who contending for this we are the partner they are the next so at a moment of the work that they are done but what am i saying here when you are not selfish you open room for god to give you what you want even if you don't get it my job to someone learn to give god thanks at you jama akioa na unjua ni yeye atakuchukua ambia tu mungu thank you i am next god will give me money kwa sababu mwenye alikuwa anamwekea jambo amen you will not worship God. I will invent my years in praise and worship. I will invent my years in church. How can God disappoint me like this? In fact, I'm not a child. Your heart turns down from worship to selfish what? Selfish. Everyone know I hear that you have enough sin. We need to see God. If your friend gets a good grade in school, those of us who are in universities and colleges, just thank God for them. Afadhali walipat. God will give you the best things in life if you remain in Him. Can somebody say Amen? After all, last time I came to hear you were here, Ecclesiastes chapter nine and verse number eleven. The race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong, nor does food come to those who are wealthy. Or whichever, God gives everybody time and chance. Kila mtu na nafasi yake. Unaweza shaka mwenye alikuwa na chapa A kwa class anakuja kuomba wewe kazi kwa sababu Mungu amekupea mali ya kuajiri watu. Utamfanyaje? Time and chance happen to everyone. Do you have faith when you worship God, you open some opportunities. Can somebody say amen? That's why you need to spend time even at home. Don't just worship because somebody is worshiping. Hear what God is saying about you. Do you know everybody has a destiny about Mungu mwenyewe mpangia in life? Our problem is, I want to be like this one. I want to be like this one. I want to be like this man. Please, each one of us is unique in his own way. Can somebody say amen? That is what gives me the joy of what I do. I say, I am unique in my own way. You will be unique in your own, in your own way. Trust God. If we are all faithful to his word, we shall get that. Now give us verse number 30, uh, 37 and we head in there. Verse number 37, now you will understand what it is from that other verse. Let's read together. <coughs> Turn my eyes away from the first things. Preserve my life according to you know one of the greatest things you do in this life is to pursue worthless things. The only worthy thing you can pursue is the word of God. When you come to worship, all those verses say one thing. Open my eyes. Turn my eyes. When we fix our eyes on the Lord in worship, we are asking Him to shape the way we see our world. We are asking Him to shape the way we see our friends. So that we can see them with the loving eyes of God. And we can do good to them even when they do bad to us. We can always pray for them even when they don't pray for us. Because our eyes are fixed on who? On God. That is why we are praying today. As we worship God, God, open my eyes as I talk to you. Not selfishly, but in a way that I can do in accordance with your word. Words are very important. Tell your neighbor, words are very important. <laughs> I want to ask you to do a simple experiment. Can you speak the best word to the person next to you? Now, what do you have to Speak the words. At least you may carry me. We just try it. I want you to try it. I know. My name is Aida Ibuli. It's because of your heart. Please just try it. Just try it. Just try speaking some good word to someone. Who only be an attack? Anache, 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 Anache. 
I try speaking a bad word. What's on a whistle when I can't change? Sit down. You know, bad words crush our hearts. Good words lift our heart. No, the word of God is the good word. When you speak it, it opens the eyes off of people. But I'm just saying, you mean I can make it? And I thought I could not make it? I thought I was useless? What are you telling me? I am useful? You begin to inspire their hope and they can begin to worship God again. Much more, even if the word of who? The word of God. Do a test. I did that test one time when I entered Bible college. Each day, I have a word of encouragement for someone. And I realized you can change the lives of so many, so many people. What was the way of my name? I don't know your name, but may God bless you. No, no, I have to smile. Because yeah. above all, you are encouraging, you are lifting up their world, their hearts. Leo wa bia mungu kitu moja maneno machafu haitatoka kwa mdomo ya nikikasirika nitaongelesha moyo wangu maneno yenye natoka iwe maneno mazuri mazuri you will see how God acts here in your life you will see what God can do make it a habit and you will live positively and you will live very happily because your eyes will be open to know what God wants that is the secret of worship don't come to worship kwa sababu pesa imepotea umeenda town leo unapata ni unakuja church au tawapa Thank you for everything. And somebody say amen. They will lift up your hand and say thank you for everything. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my enemies. Let's get up for my enemies. Unasema thank you for your enemies. Do you know what happens? Unasikia kitu kwa roho yako kukataa. Just in says thank you for my enemies. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for my talents. Thank you for my family. Hadi unasikia ukisema roho yako inataka kukataa, endelea kufanya nini? Kurudia. Endelea kurudia. Hadi you understand what the Bible says, give thanks in everything. Ukimaliza utasikia kuwimbo inakuja. Asema Five things. Look for five things for which you can tell God thank you. And I want you just to say them. God, I thank you for this. Be specific. I thank you for this. I thank you. And they are not only good things, even problems to go through. Just learn to tell God name. Thank you. Just stand there you are and then we try. Two, as you say thank you, we will just be praying your passing in the people. Do you have five things for me to want to tell God thank you? Do you have five things? Let's just go before God tell him thank you for this. Five times. The first thing. You know what you could have done for me and you can't. Thank you for all. Thank you for my friends. If you are able to describe anything about your friends, just tell God thank you for my friends. They start with me when I am down. And I just thank you for them. Go to number two. Thank you for my mom. She really treated me. I was so hard for me. Thank you for my father. He gave me discipline that I did not understand, but now I understand. I just want to say thank you. I thank you for my teachers. I thank you for my neighbors. And say something about your neighbors. And then you will realize the joy of telling God and surrender to his word. The Bible says, give thanks in everything. Give thanks to the Lord of Lord for his good. His love and trust forever. Let's love to say thank you. Thank you for the problems I have got. Thank you for the jobs I have got to see. Because I know you are not getting at all. Another day I will be here at Thank you for the challenges my family went through. They taught me how to be patient and how to live the life that is worth it for you. Thank you that I missed through this at one point. I hear that the problem that other people go through because I thought I cannot go through such a problem and I did not understand other people. Always think what a reason why you are giving thanks. And as you do that, you will realize the word of God is speaking to you. Start with those who are in need. Cry with those who cry. Rejoice with those who rejoice. And then you can say thank you. Oh yes, Jesus.
Yeah, I have to live more. 